What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. I am refreshed. <laughs> All right, we are going to jump into episode seven of season four of The Sopranos. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Yes, the season is trucking on, trucking on. Today, we're going to be jumping into episode seven, episode eight, right? episode eight i think it is episode eight i think we just did seven yes sir episode eight we are getting there Sh slowly but surely it is now 8 12 p.m for me take a little break there after i watch episode seven now i am back and ready to go i should be done by about one o'clock should be done with all the episodes but we'll see how everything goes Thank you guys so much. As always, we're just going to jump in because you guys already know. I don't want to waste too much time on the intros. Just remember to hit that like button. Remember to comment whether during the video or after the video, whatever you want to comment. If you want to comment now, that's cool too. If you want to watch all the rest of the episodes, they're on early access. You should know that by now. Link is down in the description. Sign up for early access. I'm encouraging you guys to support the channel. You guys enjoy the content, show your support. It ain't even about the early access. It's about you guys showing your support for what I do and I try to do for you guys um, while you're here. Okay, who knows? There might be something else on the channel that you enjoy and you might decide to stick around. That's okay. All right, so let's jump into the episode and I will see you guys right after for the review. Wonder if she's gonna ask him about it. You don't want some eggs oh Lord, the hands on the shoulders? Give that back. man a heart attack. <laughs> I'm up so. Immigration, they make problems. Well, maybe Tony can help with that. Yeah. What are you still doing here? I thought you were flying out to Naples. I used to drop off the shirts from Patsy's guy. All right, but you should be on your way to see your old man. The cancer is everywhere in his body. Cancer don't respect nothing. You know, he started in his car. You need any money? I'm good. Please call. Let us know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tony. <laughs> you and I have to get to somebody else to drive you tonight. Not a problem. Go. I just sit down a per damn board. Get a pen of paper. Hold on. I can't find a piece of paper. Shoot. All right, tell Porter that Patchy run the car operation while Furio's gone. Then tell patchy has got to kick up 10 points. Seven and a half to me, two and a half to Paulie. Got it. All right, you and Seal, you figure out who pays the Longshore Union, how much. I'll back you up whichever. Who is he meeting with? Titanium, huh? Tracks freezing out. Too hard for aluminum. Well, whatever she's got on her feet, she's a winner, huh? <laughs> Little colicky, huh? Yeah. You don't feel good, huh, big girl? You big girl. Fuck this horse whispering shit. Ugh. What's this costing us? Oh, Tony, Valentina. Valentina, Tony Soprano. She works in an art gallery, helping me to enlarge my collection. And this, my Chiquita banana, is pie oh my. She's beautiful. There's no stopping this for us. She's gonna go all the way to the breeders. We'll do the two geldings next, Whitey. Hon, can you come here a sec? I think I have something in my eye. Let's talk to Ralph, you have a look. I don't see anything. Maybe you need more light. Oh, my God. The fuck? <laughs> I can't believe you did this to me. It was a joke, hon. There's nothing funny about it. There is from where I'm standing. Besides, <laughs> it's good luck. What? 
It's good luck to step in horse shit. Ask any horse person. It's true. Then why aren't you people walking around all day looking for piles of horseshit to stomp around in? It only works if it's an accident. Fucking sick, all he is. <laughs> so, where's the hose? <laughs> oh, it's... You know, it can be risky trusting him to have a sense of humor. When Did he jokes funny? about everybody yeah, else? Funny is what an eight-year-old boy thinks is funny. Having any fun yourself? Are well, you taking a survey? Have any interest in art? Yeah, sure, the right thing I do. There's an artist down in New Hope. Specializes in horses. Give him a photo of your horse, he paints a beautiful portrait. It would look great in your office. I yeah, might have a look at my office before you make that call. Think about it. If you're interested, give me a call. Oh, so uh, she's... What's that, Puerto Rican? Cubana. My mother was Italian. My father Cuban. It's a dangerous combination. Very much so. She is a beautiful woman. I'll tell you that much. She's gorgeous or what? Sweet as she is. Looking at him. Great definition. Carriage. I'd love to paint her. Good, good. But what about this deadbeat? There's no problem cropping you both out. We can set her in front of the rail at the track as she is. Or if you prefer something more pastoral, we can place her in a meadow. Well, I don't know about any of that, but can you leave me in there and just crop him out? Easy. And frankly, it would be better, composition-wise. Go for the pastoral, much more dignified. And it comes framed. Exactly as you see that one. 6,500. Oh, you got a deal. To pie or oh mine? My. You what? No, 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 the name. It's Pi O Mai. I'll give it all thing now. Hey. I'd better get your receipt. I'll just be a minute. This man is like, you know, just walks Let's around with six grand on him. Senorita, whose idea this was in the first place. I bet you say that to all the girls. There's not that many. And to tell you the truth, the ones that there are, they don't got many ideas. We should, uh, probably start heading back soon. Yeah. If you want on the way, we can stop and eat something. Yeah, we could definitely stop. Cows from in there. Sit down and eat before it gets any colder. She loves these practical jokes. He's gonna snap. <sighs> Looks good, doesn't it? Mine needed salt. Jesus fucking Christ, he fucking his can't even get this right. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> oh, that's very mature. It's <laughs> like a child. <laughs> Not funny. I thought you had an eight-year-old sense of humor. Come here, give me a kiss. I'm eating. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> boy, you're not. What if I promise to be good? Hmm? How good? Good. <laughs> Get the ladies. Oh, shit. I lost a nail. We will not be mentioning anything about any of this to them. I'll take it. Can you send it to uh, this person? Sure. You want to include a card with this? Yeah. Mm. 
Let me, let me have another one. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, a little business. Like what? Why do you want to hear this? I was just saying how we decided to give a bigger percentage to the union guys than the customs guys. You're shitting me, right? That's what you guys came up with? Everybody seemed pleased with the arrangement. God damn it. Now I'm gonna have to go down here and do a go see with every fucking buddy from the harbor master on down, which is exactly what I was trying to avoid. You wanted me to negotiate it. That's what we'll do. Don't make me go down on per damn boy. I'm trying to free myself up to do a little global thinking. Girls, what's it gonna be? I'll have what I always have. Chicken Mario? Fifteen years of Chicken Mario. Can't you try the veal chop or something for once? What are you giving me a hard time for? I like the chicken. Hello, beautiful people. Oh, look who it is. Hey, Tony. Hi, how are you? Remember Valentina? Yeah, nice to see you again. Yeah, same here. You don't want to pull that horse shit stunt? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have some steaks. Maybe I'll have a steak. You don't need a steak. I know, I don't need a steak. Do me a favor. Don't fuck with the salt shaker. <laughs> you like the salt? This scanty for me. Let me see. Oh, uh, I don't know, give me... Come on, you're getting anorexic. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna make a call. Okay? You're wasting away. Come on, what are you gonna do? Here. No, 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 you keep it. I don't want your consolation prize. Bet you have a standing order at the jewelry store. I gotta be getting back to my table. What, to the blonde out there? Does she fuck you better than me, suck your dick better than me? Come on. Really, Tony, just tell me. How come I can't see you again? Because you fuck well. You got morals all of a sudden? I don't know about morals, but I do got rules. Some Dago macho bullshit about don't fuck your friend's girlfriend? Yeah, that. But not just that. Then what? Look, that, that day in the countryside, that was... It was great. Did I do something wrong? I'll fix it. Man, you can't fix the shit I'm talking about. I just don't want to be where Ralph Ciferetto has been. You prick. A one-time thing is one thing. But to get into a relationship, I gotta get back to my dinner. You don't know anything. Let me tell you what's really going on. He doesn't fuck me. I swear to God, he's some kind of freak or something. You two don't have sex. No. Well, sort of, yeah, but not... Oh, not... Have a nice life. Go ahead. Go ahead, you go back first. Don't wait a minute. We shouldn't go back together. Ralph is a freak. He likes it up the boonyang. <laughs> he likes it up the boonyang, man. Yeah. Tony, it's me, Valentina. You got no reason to be calling me. I have to tell you everything. I mean, I didn't want to tell you before because it's just so embarrassing. Who are you? I'm not Ralph. Oh, Christ. No, 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 it's okay. He left. Tony, Ralph does not have sex like other people, regular people. It's all some kind of kinky shit. Believe me, I am not hung up. I, I, I've done a lot. I've done girls, I've done threesomes, and I've done... With him? No, Tony, please, just listen. Ralph is loco. For real, okay? He just makes me do stuff. Not really even sexual. Like last night, I just wanted him to fuck me just so I can get back at you. But all he wanted me to do was drip candle wax on his balls. And then he went into the bathroom and jerked himself off. Now, I don't call that having sex with someone. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Last week, I swear to God, he told me to rub his dick raw with the cheese grater. Get the fuck out of here. Oh! I told him to fuck off. My county. Well, I gotta go. Good morning.
morning. Keep us framing. Hello? Hello? Polly is mad. Man, it's like, I'm about to hurt some old ladies, bruh. Tu non devi aprire la droga. Mio fratello ha cambiato una bella vita. Una vista bene che femmina. Te la gerisce. C'è la più bella cosa che puoi sperare. Tu ti trattieni ancora a tuoi per qualche giorno. Ma quando partite per l'America, tutto quello che pensavi di ritorno a casa, Quando vedete Napoli dall'aeroplano, mi sentite tutto eccitato. Che ti aspettavo? È l'aria di casa. Non sa c'è più. Fino anche in da chiesa di San Gennaro, tu, ci è a fregare per mio padre. Ci stavano carte di hamburger e munnezze per te. Io non credo che la munnezza che ti ha fatto cagnare per seguire. Ci sta una femmina. E se a così torna a una casa a due, o due o due figli le hai fatte. E se la moglie lo boss? Soprano. Ma io non lo so. Ma tu te la fai? No. Non sono manco sicuro se adesso l'ha capito. Ma... Non l'ho mai data nemmeno un vaso. Meglio a così, allora state lontano. Non è successo ancora niente. Non so se ci riesco. Mi la voglio bene. Pussa asciuta pazza. In vita mia ha già fatto tanta sfonsità, ma non mi ha già mai fatto da moglie o boss. O boss sapere perché, o sai perché. E dimmelo, non chi attorno che parola. Perché io sapevo che se visse la purata macchere, il boss o bene ne sembra a sapere. Don't do it, Furio. Fight Pronto. the urge. In un momento. I know she's a good parola. one, bruh. L'unico mezzo si ha di accidere il marito. Questo saggio. E allora, un po' strunz. Avvocato Zeni, pronto? Come state? Go. Long time no see. Just you? I am me. Yeah, well, I've been busy, you know. Then I forgive you. When can I see you? I've got something to tell you. Look. I told you the situation. Come on, Tony, just for a coffee or a drink or something. All right, you know the coach house on uh, 21 at Passaic? No, but I can find it. Can you be there by noon? Nothing could keep me away. All right, I'll see you there. <laughs> I guess there's something about Tony that I, <laughs> All right, I, want to see I don't you understand. This afternoon. <laughs> Two o'clock at the other place. I'm so sorry I'm late. I had to make up this whole thing at work. It's all right. What can I get for you? Avion, whatever. So I'm here. What's this uh, big thing you have to tell me? I broke up with Ralph. When? Last night. I just couldn't take it. He brought out this leather mask with this funny... All right, all right, all right, all right. Means we can be together. Well, that one thing now. I'm a married man. I'm a happily married man with two kids. I just want to see you sometimes, a couple nights a week. Jeez. I'm not going to say I love you. I always say that too soon to guys, and I'm trying to work on that, but I really like you. I like you too, honey. But it's not going to happen. Why? Why not? For one thing, I already took his horse. It's a little awkward. It's about Ralph. That scumbag? Yeah, well, I'm trying to find out about his sex life. Who would know better? He would. Ask him. I can't. I can only ask you. I mean, is, is he weird about sex? Why are you interested in this? I got my reasons. Managerial, 
You know, like the army. It's got policies about this shit on account of combat. I have to tell you, Tony, I'm finding this entire conversation insulting. Here we go. You're asking me to betray confidences. Bitch, are you a lawyer? A therapist? What do you no mean? No matter what either one of us think of the guy. <laughs> betray confidences. <laughs> Three thousand dollars. How'd you come up with that figure? It's a number that I thought you'd say yes to. You thought right. So, what have you heard? You pay me three thousand dollars. I'll answer your questions. He bottoms from the top. I don't even know what that means. Means he has to control things, but he pretends he doesn't. Like he'd make me fuck him with a strap on and call him my bitch, shit like that. What about playing old fucking? I'm telling you, he can't get hard that way. And if he could, I don't think that he's going to. <sighs> we needed a second opinion. <laughs> could have believe it when you called. I was so happy. I'm feeling pretty happy myself. How did they change your heart, huh? Well, I was never hesitating because of you. I just had to get my head into a place where I felt that I could really commit, you know? Mm -hmm. To lavish all the care on you that you should have. Decaf? Decaf? Nah, forget it. Regular spot. I can make decaf. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. He don't know how to start this conversation. <laughs> he has no idea how to start this conversation. Something wrong, Tony? <laughs> oh. Why? You went in the backyard the last couple of days. Me? It's freezing out there. You sure? The pool guy come around? Why would he? Check up on stuff? Something. All right, I'm going upstairs. Well, we take a minute. You sure, Tom? It's not something you want to talk about? No. <laughs> Like what? <laughs> you can't say shit. <laughs> oh, episode eight. Interesting episode introduced new character. There's always one. Like close to the end of the season, there's always a girl that comes into the picture for Tony. I don't know what is this obsession with this dude. You know what I'm saying? What is that? That was something on my face. Um, yeah, there's always this obsession. You know what I mean? There's always this girl that comes in with this. I was like, what is it about Tony? I don't, I, I don't get the appeal. <laughs> you know what I mean? But hey, if I guess if you got money, you powerful people. You know, woman is kind of drawn to that. Not necessarily. You know because of anything else just because he's a powerful man they know he's a powerful man um and they're just drawn to that so i don't know how this one is going to end because i don't see it lasting but uh, you know i don't feel sorry for him that carmela is <laughs> taking his money i don't feel sorry for him because at the at the end of the day that's the reason why it's so hard to bring up that conversation to her because it's like what are you going to say 
at this point, what are you going to say? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to say towards this? There's nothing really for you to say. You just got to take it. <laughs> you just got to take it. He, she, he knows. He knows that it's her. But he can't do anything because he also found the, the, the nail, the broken nail. So he, he, re, he knows that it's her, but he can't address it with her because he knows he's completely in the wrong about this entire thing. You know, and she just decides to start taking your money and, you know, put it in an account, spreading it out. So she got like 9,900 here, 9,900 here. She's spreading it out. You know what I'm saying? Putting it in, in accounts that he probably doesn't know about. So, um, cool beans. So yeah, man, great stuff. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? I don't have much to say about this episode. Let me think about it. Um, Ralph you know that was already established in earlier episodes that he was a freak well janice was looked like he was putting a vibrator up his ass uh, <laughs> you know so i don't want to get it i don't want to get into that too much um yeah i want to get into that too much the episode kind of concentrated more around tony and this woman and the pranks that she plays and the things that went on you know him trying to play a prank on Carmela. Carmela just doesn't like it. I think she kind of overreacted in that situation. Um, it's a stupid promise. Like, you know, you gotta learn to be able to take a joke. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know why she's so uptight about that. But you know, um, but for the most part, I think it's kind of silly that she got so upset about it and be like, "Don't do that again," blah blah blah. And I get that sometimes, you know, as men, as men, as old as we get, we still play, play pranks. That's why we don't, we don't really get too serious about that. When, when, you know, if a girl play pranks on us, Ralphie is, is the type of person like he loves making fun of other people, but he lo he doesn't lo he doesn't like when the, when the jokes on him. So that's kind of, you know, uh, uh, another kind of thing that i don't like about R ralph himself like you're always talking shit you're always joking around with people making jokes of people but then when the joke's on you you know what i'm saying you're getting mad you should be able to take a joke if you love joking around and playing practical jokes and doing all this other stuff like when the joke's on you you want to get mad about it like it, it just doesn't add up and that's a certain kind of personality that I just can't be around. People who love to do stuff like that, but when it's turned around on them, they want to get mad, they want to get angry, they don't want to laugh with you. It's just like, I'm going to give you a taste of your own medicine sometimes. And you got to be able to take it. You got to be able to give as much as you take. I'm, I'm, you got to be able to take as much as you give. That's the saying. So, <laughs> um, it's just how it is. So, um, but definitely great looking gal. You know what I'm saying? Cuban Italian? You know what I'm saying? And you do I've met you know a couple of people, women, you know, um, even dudes that are Cuban Cuban Italian. So that's not a very like rare combination. It does happen. Um, so definitely looking forward to that. As it said, this episode kind of you know kind of showed you what was going on with Tony just you know dilemma with being with this woman you know, uh, and finding out about Ralph's sex, sex life, which is, um, I don't know if he's ever going to throw that in it into his face at any point, but that's crazy. He, he paid $3,000 to find that out just to have peace of mind. This guy's nuts. I would never do that shit. <laughs> I would never do that. Um, pay $3,000 to have peace of mind. Depends on, all, I, I guess it would depend on what that peace of mind that I'm paying for because I would rather not get involved with a woman than to pay that kind of money just to get peace of mind so I can sleep with her like it's not that serious <laughs> it's really not um so great stuff man I really do appreciate y'all for tuning in as I said um if the episodes are just like they don't tackle any like real issues or anything like that in the episode and I'm not gonna have very long reviews but for the most part it was a very enjoyable episode nonetheless some jokes in there um of course the situation that's going on with paulie and his mom that's 
funny as hell <laughs> that was pretty cool so i really like that as well uh, him beat getting beaten up the principal to talk to his mom just to make his mom feel included but she has to play ball too you know what i'm saying um with the situation she just has to she has to play ball man like if she's a tattletale it, it's so weird that she called it high school with wheelchairs like that's funny as hell but in any case guys this episode was pretty cool pretty funny as well thank you guys so much leave a like leave a comment and i'll catch you guys for the next one man peace